welcome to my youtube channel please if you are new on this channel kindly hit the subscribe button and if you're already a subscriber i want to say a big thank you for subscribing may our hearts be open to the peace and joy found in god's grace as we embark on this spiritual journey together please let us know your thoughts in the comment section and kindly comment with love and respect for one another the aim of this channel is to help us hear the word of god and be renewed and transformed through the word of god disclaimer this channel does not encourage violence or the use of abusive language on anyone so kindly filter the words that you use in the comment box thank you for doing so may the peace of god continue to be with you always in cherubim and seraphim we used to go to the river to bath my mother would cut soap for everybody. They know they cut soap season. I know they cut soap. <laughs> they will cut locks or you know, hey, joy girl. You know that soap. They will cut it. Everybody will take one one with all of us go to the sponge inside the river. <laughs> ah, thank God for Christ. So <laughs> like Pastor Charles said yesterday, when he went back to the church that he was that you mean this is the church we're in that we say it's a bit that the church be this, yeah, that's so. When you see the foolishness of where God has brought you from, you will appreciate grace. Somebody celebrate grace. <laughs> but now listen. Now listen. You see, one day, in that church, every year, we used to bring water. You bring water, you will write your family name, and then we we'll put the water, we we'll label it and put it on the altar. Sometimes we we'll bring oil and put it on the altar, label it. And everybody will now, they will be praying. Some people will see a trance. They will go for 20 days. After I want to suck a leg, you know, and we'll go. So one day, I become the pastor of this church. And then, you know, we're hearing oil, oil, oil. And we didn't go to any Bible school, we are just called, you know. I said, ah, okay, this oil thing. So it just came. I said, ah, okay, this one we are doing 21 days fasting. I can tell everybody to bring oil. Oh. Let them bring the oil. Honest intention, no. Oh. I'm not an occultic person. Let them bring oil, label it with their name. They will put it on the altar. Since we are coming to church, every day will be laying hands, point of contact. So that at the end of the 21 days, they will come and collect their oil. Power will not enter. But because I have accountability partners and friends. So, I just ran it through. I said, guys, so we sat down. You know, we meet regularly. And <laughs> as we were just talking, one of them just kept quiet. I said, you are not saying anything when you look at the Cherubim and Seraphim here. So the spirit here, look at the bat here. Is that Cherubim and Seraphim spirit? They have seen that your glory is going to shine. What you want to see? They have entered your life. You better stop that nonsense. What verse of the scripture supports this one you want to do now? I said, we told you. That's true. You know, I told you on Thursday morning, be teachable. We spoke about Apollos. Priscilla and Aquila, they called him aside to show him the way of God more expressly. But thank God, they listen. That's how God delivered me from that one. Oh. Now, you know the problem with the church. If I did it, testimony will have come. Then, you will now think that because testimony comes, it will now become a doctrine of your church. Every year, you will now be doing it. Miracles will be happening. Before you know it, by virtue of your influence, other people will now say, if you work for him, he can work on him. That's how errors have been propagated in the church. Many things that are happening today, God didn't inspire it. God has no hand in it. The same way he shocked you, now he shocked God. <laughs> I'm telling you, God will just go say, ah, our guys is too Where did they see this one again? He said, ah, this is, he would not, you know, God would just, hey, 24 elders, come and see my people. Come and see my people. <laughs> Are we now seeing pastors collecting money now to phone heaven? <laughs> and they are calling, hello God. And God will be wondering, hey, hey, 24 elders, they are calling us, where is the line? <laughs> Even God, they shock. Yeah. Keys are falling from heaven. Come and collect your key. Ah. Jesus Christ. Who did this to us? 
So many pastors like that have lost focus. Why? Wow. Thank you so much for watching. Please kindly subscribe if you are yet to do so. And if you are already a subscriber to my YouTube channel, I want to say a big thank you to you. And God bless you always.